turn off the water to the toilet. Drain the tank. Once the tank is drained, you and the can... the way you drain the tank is you take the Drain the tank lever. this way. No, you take the trip lever. After you turn the water off, you take the trip lever and you trip it like you flush it in the toilet. Okay. Oh, I'm now. Now your water goes down in your tank. I'll just let, hold it down. It goes all the way down below the flat. Now, continue on, James. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Pull the ears up on the flapper. <laughs> That releases the flapper. Take the hook from the trip lever, the trip which lever is trip coming, lever is coming from this no, side. Trip lever will be coming right here. Oh, this is gonna have to be started over. Well, no, it ain't. Trip lever will be coming here. You're gonna have your hook here. You unhook it right here, and you're gonna take your ears off like Jimmy said. You're gonna take the flapper off. Discard the old flapper in the wastebasket. Go ahead. Installing the new flapper. Take ears, flip over, flip over, reattach the chain to the trip lever. Leave enough slack so that it's not pulling the flapper up to leave running. Once you have that, you reach down under the toilet and you turn your water back on, fill it, let it fill all the way back up. Let it cut off. Then you want to flush it. Flush it. You want to let it fill up again. And then you want to make sure that it's not leaking <laughs> through the from the tank to the bowl. How do you do this? To tell if you have a leak, <clears throat> best way, food coloring in the back of the tank. We we'll actually have some tablets that we keep here at the store. <laughs> you don't have any food coloring. Take this tablet and you drop it down in the tank. And if you see any of this color water coming in the bowl, it means your flapper's leaking. If you don't see any of this coming in your bowl, it means your flapper's not leaking. Flapper changing 101.